from VP event manager today I'm going to guide you how to get started with WordPress step by step there are four steps first select your domain name second purchase web hosting third install WordPress and fourth pick up your WordPress theme I will take you through every step you need to take to launch your WordPress website in detail so let's talk about the first step select your domain name so maybe some of you already know what is domain name if you don't know then your domain name is your wordpress site permanent address on the internet so for example here you can see the wp event manager.com is a domain name or you can also buy the domain name from the GoReady, and you can type whatever you want to give the domain name for uh, your website right recently we have just uh, about uh, domain name is called my event platform.com and that's the reason it's uh, showing the status here is taken right now let's talk about the second step uh, purchase web hosting so what is web hosting web hosting is the engine that power your wordpress site and make it accessible to the visitor around the world there are many web hosting company godaddy kinsta siteground vp engine right this totally depend on your budget and requirement and then you can select um, hosting company to buy hosting so uh, we we will not going to go in detail like uh, which hosting company is better and which not but uh, definitely I can tell you like Kista is the best uh, hosting company for the WordPress and they providing optimized WordPress uh, server and also very good support and and of course in the speed wise they are the best talk about the third step install the wordpress uh, for installing the wordpress uh, we need to go to the wordpress.org there we can download the wordpress file so click on the get wordpress button then click on the download wordpress and you can see here is uh, processing for the downloading so now um, you can install the WordPress two way either using FTP or SFTP account with the help of FileZilla or the second option you can use the cPanel, Plesk or direct access of the server. So we will install the WordPress using cPanel in this tutorial. So let's go to the cPanel. So what is a cPanel? cPanel is a tool which is provided by hosting company. It's make uh, it's make your job is easy to managing the site and installing WordPress or other software. Uh, so now let's go to the file manager. And here um, we will upload uh, the WordPress file which we have already downloaded from the wordpress.org so we have to go to here the public underscore HTML folder uh, which is the right folder for uploading uh, or installing you can say the WordPress so here you can see the WordPress dot zip and the WordPress folder which means I have already uploaded uh, the zip file which we have already downloaded from wordpress.org so now what we have to do because this is inside the wordpress folder so so we have to move the file inside the wordpress folder to the directly under the public html so now select all the file and then just drag and drop move to the public underscore HTML folder okay so now the third step like we can say 50% is done so now we have to go to the domain name which we have already bought and where we have already uploaded WordPress so we can see what will happen there so let's select I mean, copy 
and then open this it's processing okay it's good so here we can see uh, WordPress is came and they're asking which uh, language you want to select so we can select the English and then they're asking here it means we need this information for completing the WordPress installation process database name database username database host so let's go ahead so what will be the next step okay so now we have to create the database uh, for completing the WordPress installation process so let's go to cPanel as I mentioned cPanel you know is giving good facility it means we can easily create the database or any user whatever we need let's uh, use the mysql database wizard okay now let's give the name uh, event uh, platform is the database name okay and then they're asking username for accessing this database so we can give let's say vp event manager and the uh, password we can also give the same we don't need to generate complex password here of course in your real uh, project you need to create the uh, uh, strong password but here we can use the simple one same like username my password so it is easy for us to you know giving or copy the password is the installation process so we can say no we don't need to so here you can give access to this user so he can access the full database okay so now we have the database we have the user name so now we go back to here again to the process so here we know the our database name it was the event platform and the username was cp event manager and the password is also the vp event manager so database host name you can keep the local host and table prefix you can also change based on your needs so but we can we will keep the same so now let's submit so run the installation okay so it means we have completed the process almost so now we will give the site title so we can give let's say my event platform and this is username uh, is for accessing the wordpress website this username is not same like the database so we can give let's say uh, my admin and the password we can also keep the simple let's say my admin 123 you can confirm this password and using your admin email id we can say let's say partner my event platform.com you can give any email id which is valid but i'm for the testing i'm just giving here partner my event platform and here the third option search engine visibility if you installing in your live website 
right then you don't need to check in if you are doing for your development or for testing then you can select this because we don't want to show to google because this is not the live website so okay so we are done now we can say the login and it was my admin username and the password was my admin one two three we don't need to save it or you can also save depend on you so finally we have already installed wordpress and here if you go the front end side you can see right the wordpress and some pages right so now let's talk about the fourth step pick up your wordpress theme so if we we go appearance and the themes so wordpress by default is already providing like 20 20 20 19 20 17 theme you can also install other theme whichever you like so for example um, let's uh, go to the add new one and we can also select from the theme list which is provided by wordpress.org we can say event listing so here you can see the theme which is provided by us VPN manager we can also install this one and we can see how it look like so let's activate it okay now let's go to the front end side okay so this is the theme which is provided by us VPN manager right so now again I'm repeating the four step what we did we have already selected the domain name which is my event platform then second step purchase web hosting we have web hosting from the GoDaddy now third is install WordPress this is recently we have done and the fourth is pick up your WordPress theme so I have already shown you the two way with one default WordPress theme which is provided by the WordPress and the second theme even listing which is provided by us I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and also I have mentioned the important link in below description and free fail to give your feedback comment or suggestion thank you